What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we've got some more Star Wars Funko items. So new items that I've uh, gathered recently or whatever, or have recently come out. So first up here, we have the new Clone Wars series. So first up here, we have Anakin and Obi-Wan. So obviously we'll take them out of the box and see them, but they are in their outfits from the Clone Wars TV show. So it's really cool that they finally came out with these. Then we also have Yoda from the show and the uh, uh, Hot Topic exclusive Ahsoka. So the younger looking Ahsoka there and then we have Yoda again with his Clone Wars design there. So it's really cool that they came out with both of those. Then another new set that we have is the new vinyl. I really like these vinyl things, but just finally that they have uh, are coming out with Star Wars is really cool. But I got the Jabba the Hutt in Salacious Crumb, which is really cool. I didn't forgot that this was even coming out, and I was just you know shopping one day and saw this on the shelf at a GameStop, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe they I completely forgot about this and stuff. So that is really cool that they have that again. So it's really cool. Guys that then some older stuff that's exclusive but not really you know it's old stuff are this is star wars dwarves that i've been waiting forever to get these so here we have luke in the land speeder and it was really cool to get these because i've been waiting on forever because they're about 40 dollars or something like that or, 20, or 30 or 40 i don't remember for sure but they've been expensive at the disney store that's what they're exclusive to and i didn't want to pay that much you know for a dwarves because dwarves are pretty cheap in general and to pay that much like more than like pop rides and stuff almost it was, I felt ridiculous, but I just waited and waited. So then we were out shopping when we did our little trip to Chicago last weekend. We ran into a Disney store just to look for the new, um, to see if they had any of the cool Star Wars figures and stuff. Like I got the Darth Vader, and then if they had any Black Series figures and stuff, because there are some exclusives coming to it. Um, but we saw this, and it was in the clearance section, and it was 40% off the sticker price, which was already stickered down to $12.99, which I thought that would be the price. I'm like, oh, that's much better than 30 or whatever. Um, next we have the thing there. Um, so yeah, $30 was the original price. And then it became $40 off of that, actually. So I only paid $7 for each of these set sets that you'll see. So there we have the Luke and the Land Speeder. And then the other set I have is the Tusken Raider on the Bantha, which again, both of these I really wanted. I love the Star Wars Dorb so much, and so it's cool to finally get these things I've been holding off for for so long. So it's really cool to get them for a really good price, you know, and everything. So let's go ahead and open all these Funko items and look at them, and I hope they turn out really cool and have a good paint job and everything, but let's just get into it. And first up here, we have the Clone Wars Anakin, and again, I like this a lot and think it looks really cool. So let's start off with the head here. So, of course, we have the normal pop face. They add the scar on his right eye, which I think looks really cool. Then we've got his hair, his um, brown hair that's, like, long and flowing because it is the longer style hair. Of course, that help leads into Episode 3 where he has the longer hair. But on the front here, they add this little part. Um, it doesn't match the same texture. It's just a piece they added in, as you can see. But it adds the hair that goes down into his face because the way his hair design is, it's got the piece that goes down into his face. Then we go into his outfit which in the Clone Wars, which I really like. They add have armor on their outfits which I think is cool and they're not just wearing their normal Jedi robes and stuff that they wear in like the movies they have you know colorful as you can see it's uh, the dark blue and maroon and then it has the armor pieces up here on the chest and the shoulders and stuff so I really like that then he's got his belt of course that would hold his lightsaber and then of course his right hand is glove has the black leather glove which is his robotic hand that he got cut off in episode 2 then he's got his lightsaber of course that gets passed on the Luke and it's all blue it's kind of bent which that happens with these lightsabers but that's uh, you know unfortunate nothing you can really do about it then he's just got a brown glove on that hand they going down continue on with his um, outfit here going down he does have the maroon colored legs as well going on there then it's this the brown boots that the jedi wear and of course this is a star wars pop uh, pop um so it's on the base and stuff that's star wars and it's a bobblehead so you can see that it bobbles there don't you agree anakin Yes, I thought so. So there is Anakin. And next up is the Clone Wars Obi-Wan. Again, another cool looking character. I like the changes and stuff they made to it. So looking at him here, so his face pretty much looks again exactly like it does in Return of the Jet or Revenge of the Sith, sorry. It's the same sort of hairstyle and face and everything. So he's got the face, then he's got the beard. Of course, that comes in. So the mustache and the beard there. And then, of course, he doesn't have any scars or anything on his face. So he's fine there. Then he's got his hair, of course, that was long in episode two. And then he cut it shorter, and but it's still got the longer detail to it and he's got the long bangs that are swept over to the side here and stuff again I 
I like that looking of Obi Wan a lot and stuff. So it's really cool. And like I said, this, these look so good. These pop versions of them. I like. There, it's crazy how they took them. You know, from the TV show into the pop forms. It's like almost exactly. Obviously, besides the bobblehead part. Then we've got his armor there, of course. So this time he looks like he's wearing clone armor, like as much. So he's got the chest plate and then all the arms. So it looks like he's got clone armor on like i said he do have a couple paint job star wars are pretty good about paint jobs they don't have too much so but he does have some black paint there on his chest plate and a brown spot there on his cloak again he's still wearing the brown um you know like jedi robes and stuff but they have this armor added to it and it's a dark uh, lighter colored stuff sort of like that then we have of course the republic logo on his arm there none on that side then he's got his lightsaber of course his hands blue lightsaber there again with like, like i said the clone armor there on him then the cloak hanging down his belt there which you can barely see the brown belt there then he's got black legs on underneath again it's, it's like he took a clone's outfit and then threw this robe part on <laughs> over the top of it and then he's got the clone looking boots there which i think is really cool then of course the base and the bobblehead and everything so that's going to be it for obi-wan then it's my favorite Yoda, and so this is again the Clone Wars Yoda, which doesn't look too much different compared to the all the other Yodas, but the way you can just kind of tell is the way his ears are shaped, because in the show they have different, you know, one ear's going down and one ear's going up. Um, I don't know why they did that, but that's one way you can tell it is the Clone Wars, but otherwise it looks just like a normal Yoda. So there is, of course, his Yoda face, so he's got his mouth and the nose and stuff. So I like how on Yoda they actually threw in the mouth, because I assume without it it'd look weird. Pretty much, you know, like the old uh, Yoda pop, like the original one, it looks kind of weird and stuff. But they had all the detail into it, much more detail than the old original pops, which were just, you know, flat and then just painted green and had the eyes and stuff. Added eyelids and everything, so a lot of detail going into it. Then on the back, we've got his hair, so, you know, bald on top with the ring of hair. And then on the back and stuff, and it's all spiked out and everything like they do in the cartoon and everything. Then go down, we just got his normal Jedi robes. He's not wearing any armor or anything on it. Just his normal robes with the lighter gray underneath and then like the, um, I don't know what you'd call it, like a dirty white, I guess, robe on top and stuff. Then he's got his, of course, little Yoda hands and feet, which I really like, the three-toed hands and feet there with the um, claws and everything. Then he's got his walking stick, so he's got the walking stick there, and then you can see um, his brown robe still underneath there and sticking out and everything and it just looks really good then the base and the bobblehead so that's gonna be it for yoda then we've got the hot topic exclusive ahsoka and again i'm so confused there's like two ahsokas um they both have outfits similar to this the other one just looks um taller and stuff so like towards you know the end of the show and when they're coming back with this new clone war seasons where she's older but then they also have the one from rebels where she's you know a lot taller in a different outfit so it's just hard to tell what um ahsoka's are which but this is the hot topic exclusive one which is just supposed to be like very early on in the show and stuff like her outfit and everything so here we've got her i i can't remember what these things i want to say twilight but i know that's not what she is i forget what this race is called because she's what shakti is and Shakti is one of my favorite Jedis and so I used to know what they were called now I can't remember at all but she's got that head design you know with the horns and then the part horns coming down there and then she's got the extra horn there in the back and then she's got this um, gold like I guess supposed to be like a headband on and then it's got these this gold chain coming down off the back of the head and in the show it hangs down and you can see it but I don't really see any parts hanging down they, they didn't add that into this but she has you know a little piece like hanging down to the side it looks almost like an earring or something but then we've got her orange face here with the design on it that you know I'm pretty sure it's just like the marks they're born with kind of like birthmarks it's not paint or anything but then it is a female so they have the eyelashes of course then going down we've got her orange body continue on then we've got the um, darker red i want to say so we have the piece you know covering her top there then it's down onto her wrist and part of her hands there as well as you can see kind of like a glove then it's matching skirt and boots as well in that same color then she's got a belt with the um like cloth part hanging down there more with some details and design of their race a gold belt buckle and a pocket of course the lightsaber to attach there then she's got the brown, uh, brown leggings on there going into her boots that we already mentioned then we have our lightsaber here with her green lightsaber um, i always like how soko holds it like upside down i always like the way she does that and then of course as she goes on she gets two lightsabers and stuff so it's really cool and i like that it's the green of course it's bent and everything as well but i really like that design on this exclusive um ahsoka and stuff so that's really cool so that's gonna be it for ahsoka then next up we've got the vinyl java and salacious crumb so look at salacious here first and i really like this like 
I love um, job, everything related to Jabba the Hutt, so I was really excited to get this. But then once I took it out of the box, when I first got it and looked at it, I liked it even more. So here we have Salacious Crumb, and so there's his little vinyl-looking figure. Again, it's a weird shape and design, and usually they have, you know, like the rounder heads, but this one's a more like cone shape. They both have it here. Um, so I like how they put them on these clear stands. Of course, still have the Star Wars. I, it must just be a part of their whole thing to be a bobblehead and stuff and not a figure and everything, a part of the licensing stuff, so, you know, it has to have a base and be a bobblehead as you can see his uh, salacious doesn't bobble too well just because of the design but it does have a bobble to it um, but there's his body of course skinny little limbs of arms and legs stuff and his tail around here curling around then his body with the fur there on his shoulders stuff and I like that a lot and I like just all the details they added into him then going in we've got his beak up here at the top so you can see the continuing over with the mouth but it's got a little beak his angry looking eyes there his little tuft of hair on top and then his giant ears there again i think he looks super cool and stuff so there's salacious and then we've got Jabba here which he is on a base as well but he's like not on it you can somewhat i forget which side like does pop out. i think it's yeah that side pops out and i thought you, you know take it off but this side's like glued in and it's kind of like made to fall apart but he's not really sitting on it. he's kind of like up in the air off of it so it's kind of weird but here we've got his giant Jabba body and so he looks just like a watermelon or something so we've got you know the body here coming out into the slug with the tail pointing sticking up I like how they had it stick up instead of curling around like usual but then we've got his arms here and there is he's got his tattoo on his arm I don't know what it stands for but he does have the tattoo on his arm and his weird little hands there you can't really see him that well but there he's got his little tiny hands which look funny and then we've got his face again that's like the cone shape so you know whiter at the bottom skinnier up at the top and it's completely flat then we've got his face, so he's got his Jabba eyes with yellow eyes, and then it's the orange and everything. His curved, weird, messed up nose shape there, and then his mouth with the tongue sticking out, of course. And then it is a bobblehead, and on the stand it says Star Wars and everything. And I really like this. I, I'm very surprised and happy about this set, and I'm really glad I found it and was able to get it. And it turns out much better than a lot of the other vinyls I've had, because usually they're characters that stand up and stuff, and so they're usually top-heavy and they fall over. And so it's very disappointing when I get these, but since they're sent down and everything, they turn out really good. So that's going to be it for Jabba and Salacious. And we're going into the Disney Store Dorbs ex or exclusive Dorb sets here. And first off here, we have Luke in the Land Speeder from Episode 4, as you can see. So there we've got the Land Speeder and the Luke Dorbs. So let's go ahead and pop him out, which of course we already have there kind of stuck in there and stuff that's tends to happen but we've already got a luke exactly like this from the just individual dorbs that came out and everything so there's luke with his happy face that they had on dorbs his hairstyle of course 70s hairstyle going on there then he's in his white robes there with the belt as you can see he's got all sorts of stuff probably his binoculars there and then the lightsaber hanging down off of there and then his little feet and stuff so i just like the way dorbs look i just really enjoy them then we've got the land speeder so you can see it here so there of course we got the front of the land speeder the little thing that's like i consider like a satellite disc or something part of the engine showing there then the cockpit there it's supposed to have two seats but of course it's a dorb so they designed it with one and then the like thruster engines on there and i like how this one's you know been exposed and everything and parts torn off and then parts of the back there and then it is on a um, clear stand you know to help it uh float and everything which it does look maybe not say it kind of looks like it's leaning but i don't think know if it's supposed to or not but there you can put luke in and it looks like you know it's kind of leaning like it's banking or something i know in the box it definitely was set to be leaning but kind of on the stand it has a little bit of a lean to it you know like down to this side and stuff so that's really cool and i really super excited and happy that i finally got this to go with all my other dorbs rides and stuff for star wars so that's it for luke and the land speeder and our last figures out of the set is the tuscan raider with the bantha and I th think this is super cool. So here we got the Tuscan Raider, which we do not have a Tuscan Raider yet. So this is cool to get a new one there so you can see its face. So it's got the goggles on and it's supposed to look happy as well, but you can't really see its mouth that's smiling, but it's got the squinty eyes as if it's smiling. Then we've got the mask on there. So it's like breather and put and stuff or whatever then it's got these little pegs that stick out over its head i don't know what it's supposed to be for and then it's all bandaged up head as you can see there to help you know protect against the um sun and everything of tattooing then go down into its body it's got you know like a brown ro um, robes and stuff you know kind of like the jedi wear but it's got a band two bandoliers across on its chest here full of pockets and everything holding all sorts of bullets and goodies and stuff and then it's got a belt and then it's feet down there and the gloves there and you can see the design there again simple easy designs adorbs but i really like and enjoy them then we've got the bantha here so of course it's the giant hairy 
monster thing here. So there you can see its mouth. I like how it even has like hair coming out of its mouth. It looks like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it does have eyes hidden under in here. Um, but you can't really see them on that. Then it's got the giant like ram horns, you know, that are um, like ribbed and then they come around and curve around and stuff like ram horns do and stuff then it's got the four legs going on there you can see it's four legs there all covered in hair and fur and everything coming out to a giant fat tail there at the bottom and then of course on the back it's got its saddle so it's just like you know cloth and then they just sit on that but it does have you know another piece of material there and on the back and then some uh bags hanging off of it probably holding you know something i don't know what it'd hold probably i'd say like gold and stuff but i don't know if they search for gold and stuff as tuscan raiders not so sure if that's what they're into or not but that's really cool and that's the it for this set of the new star wars funko items again had new items of the pops and stuff the clone wars pops that came out at hot topic and then the vinyl set which is new but then these are older but they're new for me and i've been waiting for them forever these dorb sets to get from the disney store and everything so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up also to show your enjoyment and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos on pops and everything else and i thank you for watching and we'll see you next time